Well, hey Gary, Steve Hansen here with the janitorial store. Um, you know, with your question that you had about office paper towels and uh, toilet paper garbage bags, um, you already know how many employees are in there. So first of all, that's the first thing you need to know is that how many people are in the building or visit the building. Uh, because then you can just go right to the bidding calculators and go right to your paper usage cal calculator. When you get in here, uh, enter the building population. So we'll just enter 10 and then just scroll down to the paper that you want to supply them. Now there's all different types of toilet paper, hand towels, uh, and so on and so forth, uh, Kleenex and so on and so forth. So you need to uh, make sure that you're going to compare apples to apples. So at the account, find out what they're using. Uh, hopefully you can get the names and uh, uh, case amounts and things like that. So when you go to your supplier, you can get a, a price based on similar product that they're using. Once you know that, just come here and put your, put your price in here. And actually, you don't even need to know your price. You can just put a, 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 you know, an example in there. Hit the tab button, and it's going to tell you approximately how many cases per month that you're going to go through and how much uh, you're going to be uh, spending on, those, uh, on that product. Again, just go through and uh, you know, go to your hand towels, you know, because you've got Scott towels, C folds, and multi folds. But select the product that you're going to sell them. Enter your price, hit the tab button, and it's going to give you the amounts and the pricing uh, that you're going to pay. Now, you can do the same thing on your toilet paper, too, or your, I'm sorry, your uh, can liners. So, here we got can liners, you just click on that, the same thing applies. Uh, here on can liners, you got low density and you got high density. So, again, just enter your po uh, population of the building and then select the type of can liner that you want to supply them. You also want to have uh, your hand soap. So just go to the hand soap and again just enter your, the population of the building and select the type of hand soap that you're going to supply them, either bulk, foam, or uh, bag in a box or whatever it's going to be. Uh, air fresheners and, and feminine hygiene uh, tampons and pads and things, uh, you're seeing less and less of those uh, being supplied uh, in, the, in the restroom. Generally they're not in a dispenser anymore. Uh, the companies are just putting those in, uh, you know, putting them out for employees uh, in the ladies' restrooms. But uh, other than that, uh, just go to a janitorial su uh, supply company, ask them for their best price uh, based on the quantities that you're going to be going through. and. Uh, Go ahead and mark it up anywhere from 5 to 15%. That would be a, a good margin for you. And uh, really it all depends on what kind of price you get from your supplier. Uh, if you're going to be marking it up 5% or if you're going to mark it up 15%. But uh, hopefully this helps you. Uh, and uh, I'll be uh, watching the post. Uh, hopefully you get the account. Thanks.